one of the board members said to me, so you want to be a CEO? And I said, no, I want to be CEO of Progressive. Three years before I was named CEO, um, during a performance evaluation, uh, my boss, my predecessor, Glenn Renwick, said, we're considering a few people for the CEO role. Would you be interested? And I knew what I should have said. I should have said, absolutely, I'm in 100%. What I did say was, Glenna, I'm not sure. I need to think about it. I need to pray about it. I need to go home and talk to my family. I still had um, two of my six children were at home. And so I did that and, and everyone was so supportive that I was all in when about a week later I came back and said to Glenn, I'd love to compete for the job. I started out in 1988 as a claims rep trainee and uh, that really meant crawling under cars, meeting with injured people. So my first love uh, being claimed was really about taking care of the customer. And then my first uh, big move into the C-suite was the head of HR. I was the chief human resource officer from 2002 until 2008. And that was uh, really pivotal in terms of understanding how important culture is. So looking at those two constituencies, if you've got great service and care about your customers, and you have great employees who love to come to work, um, that equals happy shareholders. And so having those three constituencies kind of thread through each role I had has been really important. Really the biggest challenge I've had to overcome is comparing myself to others, especially early in my career. I would look at somebody that had a different skill that I, maybe I wanted to possess instead of looking at the skills that I brought to different jobs. I often reflect on that uh, Teddy Roosevelt quote that says, comparison is the thief of joy. And I, I have to repeat that sometimes, but yeah, stop comparing yourself and just make sure you bring your whole self to work every day and you'll be successful.